This is an eight quart stock pot. It is great for boiling corn. It is great for cooking pasta. But having a great stock pot like this also enables you to make a one pot soup that is so delicious. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make minestrone. So heat two tablespoons of olive oil on your stove and into the olive oil, put the first, the, the trinity or the mirepoix, red onion, celery and carrots peeled and chopped. Uh, you can also add the garlic now or at the very end. I prefer adding the garlic now. So I'm just gonna add this to my mirepoix. And this goes right into the stock pot. When you're buying a stock pot, by the way, look for a stock pot that has a good heavy bottom. You really want to give the vegetables time to sweat when you're sauteing them like this for the initial stages of a soup or a sauce. So now while these are sweating, as we say, add the flavorings. One teaspoon of very finely chopped rosemary, a quarter of a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, a whole teaspoon of coarse salt, and another unique and essential ingredient is the red pepper flakes, a quarter of a teaspoon. So those are our seasonings. So this will need a little bit of stirring. You have to saute it for about, oh, eight or 10 minutes. And have ready a half of a cabbage cut into a fine slaw, one large Idaho potato, one 15 ounce can of cannellini beans. Make sure that when you uh, take them out of the can, you drain off the liquid and rinse the beans well and half a pound of green beans. These are out of my garden, so we have a purple bean, a yellow bean, and a green bean. And one 15 ounce can of peeled whole tomatoes. Drain them. So this is all going to go right into that same stock pot. So the mirepoix and flavorings have cooked nicely. Add your tomatoes next. This has to cook with a mirepoix for about, oh, a minute or so. So one minute and then everything else gets added. I like to start with the potatoes, half a head of shredded cabbage, and don't forget your cannellini beans. And add seven cups of not too salty chicken broth. So the soup is now coming to a boil. Add your string beans, a half a pound. Now simmer for 20 minutes. And the soup is ready to serve. So here we have it our beautiful minestrone, which is just so full of goodness and lusciousness. Serve the minestrone in a shallow, wide bowl. Lots of vegetables. And some of that great broth. That to me is a really fantastic serving. And you can add chiffonade of basil on top and some Parmesan cheese. And who doesn't like a sprinkling of Parmesan right on top of your minestrone? This is a very healthy and delicious dinner with a big piece of crusty French bread, maybe a little saucer of olive oil. Nutritious, easy to make, and very, very good for you. Enjoy.